According to the legend, the story of Yorick began when a star fell from the sky. A star who took the form of a girl on horseback, whose light brought life to the island. Her story inspired heroes who protected Yorvik from all who would do it harm, whether those threats came from this world or beyond. But her greatest gift to Yorvik was the special bond between a horse and a rider. Throughout that bond, anything is possible. People of Yorvik cherish their strong and lasting connection to horses. Today, Yorvik is famous around the world as a paradise for those who love riding. Your story on Yorvik has just begun. You are on your way to Marlin's stables, where you will be taking care of your own horses. It's a dream come true. Perhaps you will build a life here, making friends and becoming a famous rider. But there's a feeling deep inside you that you can't ignore. The island seems to whisper your name. Could there be truth in those old legends of heroes on horseback? There are no limits to what you can accomplish on your Vic when you and your horse ride as one. Hello, it is Melmo. Welcome to a Star Stable online let's play. I've been pretty excited about this. This has been something I've wanted to do since I started playing this game, genuinely. So I'm very excited to be doing this. I um, have a brand new fresh account and I'm very excited. I believe we're on Poppy Moon. I have Mr. Justin over here. Hello, sir. Welcome to Moreland Stables. I'm Justin. I run the stables together with my dad. I take care of the horses here and make sure each horse is matched to a suitable rider. Are you ready to meet your horse? Let me introduce you to your new friend the autumn i put on the tag and saddle for you already so all you have to do is climb onto the saddle i'm sure you and autumn will be best friends in no time oh my goodness look at us and oh my god it's so weird to not be like i mean an orange and red outfit like the the starter outfit used to be so ugly so it's pretty cool that we get to choose our own now autumn looks happy to have you up there do you feel comfortable the more time you spend around horses the more you'll see how much you have to give each other i can care for my horse I don't... Well, can I care for my horse? Don't give me the... No, 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 Star Stable. No. Ew, 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 ew. That's so gross. Stop. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. You're making me do this. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Why can't I? Okay. My inventory is locked. I Obviously, I just need to get past the tutorial. Ooh. I've started to build a reputation. Our stable girl, Maya Du, can direct you into riding lessons. She's outside the stable gates. I'll get it open for you. Hi, Maya. Oh my goodness. Our first steps into Moreland. Cute. Hi, I'm Maya. Nice to meet you, Melanie. It's great that you chose to come to Moreland. Welcome. This is the best place to spend your summer vacation. I'm doing a bit of work on the stables around here. There's so much to do and show you and talk about. But first, you should go speak to Jenna. She can tell you a little bit more about how things work here at Moreland. I love, I love the cutscenes. I love the helpfulness. I love Star Stable. But like, I wish I could skip them. <laughs> I got some cool pants when I made my account. Look at this. Look at these cool pants that I got. Oh yeah, coolest kid on the block. Look at me in my cool pants. This account is level one, but like has the old outfit. Crazy. That's right, I'm Jenna. You must be one of our new arrivals. What can I do for you? It's a pleasure to meet you, Melanie. You certainly picked an exciting time to visit your Vic. That horrible company, GED, is trying to shut down the stables. I'm sure Thomas will fix it and find a way to save the riding camp. Otherwise, your stay here will be short indeed. I shouldn't trouble you with that. You're here to experience Jorvik with Autumn. Whoa. Oh my god, look at Jenna. Oh my goodness. This has changed. This is so cute. Fantastic, nice work on the square track. I think you're ready for some bigger challenges. As promised, you're now allowed to gallop freely outside the stable walls. Before you leave to explore the rest of Moreland, I want you to show me that you can jump with Autumn. Oh my god, when I made my account, you had to be a star rider to jump. Jumping with your horse is all about timing. First, you need to make sure that your horse has enough speed. You want to at least ride it to, in a canter gait. Then you can command your horse to jump. With good timing, you should fly forward over any obstacle in your path. Oh my gosh, look at that jump. That's so cute. Wow, what a good jump. 
Fantastic, you and Autumn did great. It's time for you to move on to bigger challenges. Ooh, we get to talk to Loretta. I remember days when she was really mean. Now she's a lot nicer and I don't really know how I feel about it. Yes, I'm Loretta. Let me guess. Jenna sent you here to learn the fundamentals of riding. Of course she did. All the girls at Moreland Stables want to join my riding club, the Bobcat. Lesson number one, the Bobcats only accept the best. Lesson number two, always be training. Before we move on to lesson number three, I need to see what level you are and what's your horse's name? Don't tell me it's Puffy Heart or something corny like that. Autumn? Okay, I guess I can work with that. We leveled up. Wow, level two. I had my club set up a practice course in the paddock. Don't worry, it's totally basic. We'll show freaking Loretta. Me and Autumn have this in the bag. We are gonna do so well. <laughs> Did you see that, Loretta? What do you think of that? What do you think of that, huh? What are you, are you gonna laugh in my face now? That wasn't too bad for a beginner. You and Autumn are a good team. Lesson number three, never settle for anything short of greatness. Speaking of greatness, Bardic and I have a serious competition to prepare, to prepare for. Her horse's name is Bardic. I don't remember that, but okay. Oh my god, Tan, my favorite bobcat. You must be the new girl everyone's talking about. My name is Tatiana, but my friends call me Tan. I didn't know that. I hope Loretta didn't scare you. She could be a bit intense with new arrivals. No, she was actually pretty okay. Now, let us talk about races here on Jorvik. Practicing on the race course is a great way to train your horse each day. Wait, is this giving me any XP? Because I don't think that gave me XP. And if this doesn't give me XP, why am I doing this? I think it would. I don't think they would make me do a race track. Especially this race. And not give me XP for it. That seems a little silly. Oh my god, it's Conrad. That was quite good for your first try. You've really never ridden that horse before? No, it's my first time. If you want help on if you want to help Autumn reach their potential, you really need to train them every day. Yeah, that didn't give me XP. Oh my gosh, Tan. Yeah, I'm here to do my daily training. Give me this XP, Tan. I saw you over there chatting with Tan like it was some kind of moment. Don't get your hopes up. Tan is sweet with all the newcomers, but she takes our riding club just as seriously as I do and would never let just any new rider into the Bobcats. Wearing the pink is something you earn by being, being the best that you can. Anyways, I think Justin is looking for you. You can pick up recyclables this early in the game? That's crazy. I got two? What the heck? And we found our first star. Oh, that's so cute. My dad Thomas wanted to meet you. Apparently, he wants to ask you about something very important. I'm scared it might be about our troubles here. Mr. Kimball, the nasty boss from the company, GED, is doing everything he can to evict us so that he can demolish the stables and build luxury condos here. You should be able to find Thomas outside the stable near Jenna. This could be our fun outfit. I don't know how I feel about it though, but we'll keep it on for a little bit. We'll keep it on for a little bit. Why not? Hello, Thomas. Thank you for coming so fast, Melanie. The situation with Mr. Kimball from GED is getting out of hand, and I need your help. I just heard that he has almost convinced the council that GED has the rights to the land. Right now, his creepy sur surveyors are setting up their equipment so that they can make a detailed map for the planned demolition. I'm the true owner of this land, but I need time to prove that to the council. We will have to delay Mr. Kimball's sur surveyors to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. They're setting up in the area outside the stable. I can go s freaking ruin some nasty men's things. I, lo I love ruining a man's day. So I have no problem doing that. We just have to make sure, ooh, it doesn't take any time anymore. We just have to be sliding, uh, sir. Um, we'll, we'll skip this one for now. 
There we go. Splendid. Good work. I truly appreciate it. That will delay them for a while. What am I going to do, Melanie? Mr. Kimball is really putting pressure on me with these legal documents. If he wants to play dirty, I'll show him that he has, he has met his match. Let's ride past the blacksmiths up towards the hill along the road. There's a power distribution box. It should be possible to turn off that horrible sign by turning off the power up there. Uh, heck yeah. Like I said, I love ruining men's day. Let's freaking do it. Has the blacksmith. I love Conrad. Oh my gosh. Take that stinky sign. Haha, <laughs> I think I can hear the nasty man shouting all the way from here. All I need to do is prove that I'm the actual owner of the land. There's a deed to Moreland Stables that my father was given over 50 years ago by the Baroness of Silverglade, who lives in the castle. I can't find the documents here, but I think that our old accountant, Miss Holdsworth, knows where the title deed is. Oh my god, twins! Look at us! Okay, lady. Hi, hello, dear. What can I do for you? Mm, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost mess some years ago when Thomas Moreland's wife, Catherine, died in childbirth. All the paperwork was sent in a chest over to Catherine's father. There is a good chance that the title deed was in that chest. Her dad is Jasper Holbrook. Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death. But they haven't spoken in 20 years. But if anyone has a title deed, it would be old man Jasper. Well, you found me, and now you can leave me alone again. We're level three. <laughs> nice. Bah, what do I care if Moreland Stables is raised to the ground? That place killed my daughter, and I've hated the Moreland's for the better part of 20 years. I think it's pretty unfair for him to blame the Morelands for her death because she died during childbirth. If anything, he, sh they, like, he should blame the doctors. Hi, Melanie. Have you been to see my grandfather, Jasper? A crazy old man hates us and would, and nothing would please him more than to see our stables be raised. He said the exact same thing. He said the exact same thing, Justin. But I know that my mom really loved my dad, Thomas. What happened was a tragedy. I have these letters from my mom and dad that they wrote each other before they got married. They prove it was true love. What are you here again? What's with all these papers? Let me have a look at that. I recognize that handwriting. Were they written by my daughter? Read these letters from my beloved daughter. My heart weeps. I have the title deeds and of course I will give it to Thomas Moreland. That slime ball, Mr. Kimball, is a disgrace to the island. From now on, you can ride across my land whenever you want. Hello, sir. I have a key. Please give me whatever this key opens. A piece of paper! Perfect! Exactly what I thought. Well, what do you want to know? My frosty old heart is warm now. After 20 years in the cold, young lady, I give you this title deed to Moreland Stables. You certainly have earned it. Thomas will definitely be happy now. Young lady, would you possibly do a grumpy old man a favor? Could you take these letters and this amulet that belonged to Catherine, Justin's mother, and give them to him? Hello, Justin. Oh, Melody, you have no idea how happy this makes me. This feud has been going on for far too long, and it's finally come to an end, thanks to you. The horses! You saved the stables from demolition! Finally... I can prove that I'm the rightful owner of Moreland Stables, and it's all thanks to you. I will show the councilman, and then Mr. Kimball will have no choice but to stop the construction of the new building. Some fantastic news! I noticed that you have a great hand with Autumn, and I took the liberty of speaking with the owners. They have moved from Jorvik a couple years ago, and now live on the other side of the world. Even though they love Autumn, they're willing to sell you Autumn for only 300 Jorvik shillings. That's a great price and fantastic opportunity for you. I don't have enough. Give me just one second, and I'll get enough to buy this horse. There we go. Now we have just enough to purchase Autumn. You now own the horse that was lent to you. This feels like an amazing place to stop for episode one. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and want to see a part two, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it in the comments below. And if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe because I would love to continue doing this and I do post videos pretty frequently and you can always change your mind later. I hope to see you all in a future video. Bye-bye! <laughs>